Hello, my name is Kath and this is my thoughts for the day. Someone once wrote a line in a song, there are more questions than answers. That line seems very appropriate at the moment when we have so many questions. Questions such as, where can we go these days? And what are we allowed to do when we get there? Do I have to wear a face mask? Will there be a vaccine for this virus anytime soon? Is my job safe or will I be made redundant? When can we get back to church? And it goes on and on. Some of these questions are more important than others. Jesus asked his disciples a very important question. It's recorded in Matthew, Mark and Luke's Gospels. Jesus had been travelling with his disciples. They had seen him teaching the crowds, feeding the 5,000, calming the storm, walking on water and healing many, many people. Then, on a journey to Caesarea Philippi, Jesus asked his disciples this question, as written in Mark's Gospel. Who do people say I am? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, still others say one of the prophets. But what about you, he asked, who do you say I am? Peter answered, you are the Christ. And Jesus asks us that question too. Who do you say I am? It's the most important question we will ever be asked or have to answer. The disciples knew all about Jesus, as we do from our Bibles. But do we know Jesus? Can we say, like Peter, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God? So what should our response be? It was a question that the Apostle Paul asked someone called Felix, as written in Acts 24, verses 22, 24 and 25. When Felix, who had a good knowledge of the way, heard these things, he postponed judgment, saying, When Lysias the tribune comes down, I will make a decision then. Sometime later, when Felix came with his wife Drusilla, who was a Jewess, he sent for Paul and heard him out concerning his faith in Jesus Christ. As Paul debated with him concerning righteousness, moral responsibility and forthcoming judgment, Felix grew agitated and responded, Go your way for the present. I will send for you in due course. Felix had obviously heard about Jesus from Paul on several occasions and knew all about him. But Felix doesn't seem able to make a decision about what his response to this knowledge should be. He keeps putting Paul off when he's challenged to respond to what Paul has told him. Are we a bit like that? We can talk about who Jesus is but we don't want to commit to being a disciple in case it changes our life or asks too much of us. We don't allow our lives to be transformed by our faith in Jesus. Is our faith a theoretical exercise or a life-changing experience? What about you? Who do you say Jesus is? What difference has that made to your life? Let us pray a prayer written by Nick Forsett. Lord Jesus Christ, save me from simply knowing about you. Help me truly to know you as my Lord, Saviour and friend through your grace. Amen.